Well, here's another um, look at this um, Pelte module charger. And um, it's been kind of controversial whether this is working or not, so I thought I'd try it on the JT uh, with the big toroid coil and see if I'm picking up this induction uh, phenomena on this uh, JT circuit that I just built. And it's still doing it. So I thought I'd draw a diagram so you maybe could see how I'm doing it. It's a 400 watt Pelte module. Bought it on eBay. It was um, like $15 for that. It's a big one. You have it with the hot side up with the red and black as positive negative. And I have a 1N4007 diode. It's a fairly high voltage fast switching diode that for some reason worked. I'm then going into a bridge rectifier. It's a Radio Shack bridge rectifier, 100 volt, 1500 milliamp bridge rectifier. I am using an earth ground on it right here between the diode and the bridge rectifier. I've tried this a gazillion different ways, and this is the way it seems to work. It is very, very, very low amperage, but the output is decent. And so I have it set up here. This is the um, the display for tonight. In the back is the uh, fluorescent tube, um, and this is the JT circuit that runs on uh, very low voltage. I have it running on about two and a half volts on um, the uh, charge and the source batteries, and it's going into um, in two hours. It'll be 48 hours nonstop running, and uh, it's a real winner. Slayer came up with a great circuit here. We're still working on it, but over to his uh, channel. It's G Bluer. Um, also at the overunity.com. Uh, he is the Slayer 007 at the uh, JT uh, Jewel Thief thread. And uh, then over at uh, the uh, Energetic Forum, it's Slayer 007's uh, Big Jewel Thief thread. And this is uh, his baby. So if you have any questions on that, um, go over to those threads and uh, contact him at his channel. Um, that's his circuit. But what I did was uh, this Felte project today. And uh, look down here, you'll see these are meat thermometers. And I wanted to make sure people knew that I wasn't heating this up or cooling it down to making it work. So I put thermometers on it and let it sit there for about half an hour to show the temperatures. Now, I don't know if you can see that or not. That's going to be hard to show. But that looks like about 75 degrees on that one. And about 70, 76 degrees on that one. Now you have to have a big differential on this Felte that I have to make it produce energy. That is a big one. And uh, some of the guys said 35 uh, degree differential, well, I, I have to have almost 100 degrees difference to put out any kind of uh, voltage at all on that thing. But it does work on this induction. So, And I don't know why, but it does. So the induction, I believe, is coming off of that coil as it charges and collapses and causing this circuit to run. Now over here, I have a little 10 microfarad 35 volt cap to store the energy up. And then I'm going to fire the energy into these LEDs to show that it's actually absorbing energy into the capacitor and then releasing it through the diodes, these LEDs. These LEDs are what are in one of these things. These are one of these little push lights. And it normally has uh, three AAA batteries, and I gutted it. But uh, that's what's right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that button every time the cap charges up to about three volts to show you the energy that's being captured in the little cap and then released through the diodes. Right now it's grounded out, so there's nothing on it. It's zeroed out. Now the earth ground over here, it is disconnected right now. I'm going to show this without the earth ground initially. Once again, this is not an extension cord going into the wall or anything. I'm just using the cord. It goes out the door into a stake in the ground about two and a half feet. There are no phone lines. There's no electrical cords out there at all. Now, uh, this is absolutely dead, but it's ground. It's earth ground. So let me show you how this starts. I'm going to unground the cap. This will immediately start to climb. Now, this is voltage that's being generated by the Felte. 
Pelte. And there it goes on up. Now this is going to stop. And the reason it's going to stop is I have those diodes turned on right now. In other words, the switch is activated. And that's what that's holding right now. That's 2.19 volts. And there's a reason I did this because now I'm going to connect the earth ground. And I'm going to connect this right there right after that diode, that high voltage diode, fast switching high voltage diode, right before the bridge rectifier. I'm going to put it right there and I'll watch the voltage. And that's the voltage bump. And I wanted to show you this because it's under load basically. This is loaded right now with load on it. Disconnect it. You see it go down. Connect it. There it goes up. And this is what Bodkins wanted me to play with um, on this circuit was the earth ground. It does make a difference. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the earth ground off it again. I'm going to undo the, the switch here and let the little capacitor charge up. And watch voltage on this when I do this. And there goes the voltage on the little capacitor. I'm going to let this go up to about 3.5 volts. I'm going to fire these LEDs now. You see that blink? Okay, now I'm, I'm going to turn it back on, let that build up again. See if I can get this better so you can see it. That up to about three and a half volts. I'm going to fire it again. There they go. And this shows that I'm actually getting energy into the capacitor from the Pelte through the diode system of that circuit right there, right into there. Now I'm going to hook the earth ground back up here. And you can see this will climb faster now. This goes up very rapidly now. It, and i got to fire these before it gets too high. And I can fire these off about every 15 seconds. I can fire them. 1,001, 1,000, well, less than that, 10 seconds. Let me show you on the meter here. See how fast this is charging up. Now what I'm thinking is this is probably enough to run a JT circuit if I had this set up correctly. I just haven't tried it yet, but uh, the energy that's coming off of that right now I'm pretty sure is enough to run some kind of a JT circuit. I just got to figure out how to do it. Now I've already tried to put it back into the batteries and I have not had any luck with that. And I think what I might need is a cap pulser circuit, believe it or not, to make that charge up and pulse a cap. But um, this is pretty amazing that it, it's uh, storing up energy that fast and uh, uh, releasing it Anyway, that's that's the latest for today. If you have any questions on this, like I say, go over to the the overunity.com or um, energetic forum under the jewel thief threads, and all the information there's there, all the circuit diagrams, all the parts settings, everything else, and um, go that direction. Thanks. Have a good evening.